Hey, hello, oh, and uh, welcome. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial video, but I figured, uh, why not make them? Because I've got I've got a lot of questions for what we're about to go over today in this video, um, like how uh, how to add JS uh, JSR support for weapon mod in your load. Order. The process, it's honestly the easiest freaking thing to do. Like, on, just wholeheartedly, there's a tutorial on the original mod page, or two articles talking about how to do it, the two ways I'm going to show you, but this video is more if you're like a visual learner and you want to see someone do it, so that you could absorb it that way. Um, all the tools and mods I'm using to patch in this tutorial, uh, I will link below, uh, but yeah. So uh, the first thing you're gonna need is uh, this right here. Over, X edit or Fallout 4 edit. Basic program. It's like the creation kit, but doesn't crash as often. Uh, you're gonna be using this to uh, change the sound keyword of the weapon mod you uh, want to patch with the one added by JSRS. Go download this. Uh, install it. Next, obviously, you're going to need um, JSRS, JSRS sound mod or fall. Um, obviously, if you if you made it to this point, you probably have it installed already. Yeah, uh, yeah. It adds all these nice new uh, like sound uh, bullet cracks, uh, uh, distant shot sounds, and and uh, just you know. Just all around bunch of really awesome well made uh weapon sounds it's a really good mod uh finally the two mods we're gonna patch today are the fn fal sa58 plus kukri and the uh mp5 complex i might be gonna attempt to say the company name <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna be patching these two i picked these two for a reason uh, the MP5 because it's just a normal gun and it's super easy to patch it and I'll show you exactly how. The FNFAL, uh, the way you patch this mod is slightly different. You do it through object mod uh, 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 references or, or entries, I believe. All right, I misspoke. Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to do it again. Both very easy. You just gotta know what you're looking for. Yeah. So once you have that installed. Uh, I guess un or pause the tutorial, install all that stuff, then unpause it here, and we'll get to work. So if you're using Mod Organizer 2, obviously you need to add Xedit as a um, uh, the, uh, to Mod Organizer so you can launch it through, and you have access to your load order. If you're using Vortex, I think it's fine. Same thing with the NMM or whatever. Or if you're not using one at all, you just install it and then tell where it needs to go. Yeah, so once you're ready, launch the uh, program. Uh, I'm just going to... Okay, because we're not a big load order. That's okay. Let everything load out, you know. Okay, now that everything's finished uh, building references and all that stuff. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do... Uh, is we're gonna we're gonna deal with the first patch. So may, uh, changing the sound keyword or the uh, uh, directly in the weapon uh, uh, entry in the weapon mod. So first thing you want to do is go to the whatever mod you're patching if you're following along or if you're following along exactly with the tutorial, go to the MP5, uh, click weapon, and you go, or you're going to right click, copy is override into, warning, you're about to, yeah, yeah. Press OK. Oh, oh, the wrong one. Um, Copy. Oh, Syria. Sorry. Uh, deep uh, deep copy is override into. You're gonna click. You can go to this one. It's an ESP ESL, so it'll be an ESP flag uh, ESL flag ESP or whatever. However you say it, it won't take up a spot in your load order. That's all that matters. Like that. Press OK. Uh, naming. Uh, when I name my patches, I like to do Omega dash and then whatever mod MP5 ASRS patch simple tells you what mod uh, patches is what's patching and that's a patch okay and boom got it 
Next thing you need to do, right click the new ESP you just made. Go to add masters right here. Click JSRS. That's it. You not the regions one. You don't need that for this. Um, okay, master. You can click off, click back on. See, JSRS has been added. Now, as a note for those doing this, JSRS doesn't have every weapon patched, obviously, because there's a lot of guns uh, or, or sounds available. I should say not patched. Um, but there is this big, big list right here that you can see um, what weapon or what type of gun. So you got like, uh, let's see. So here, the uh, the AK-12 sounds or more modern 545 variant AKs you'd put here. Um, you know, let's see. Uh, AR-15, AR-15 chamber in 5.56, AR-300 for AR-15 chamber in 300 blackout, uh, 458. So calm, you know, again, it definitely is worth checking, you know, this list, obviously, before you start, you know, maybe if they don't have the exact sound, there's something similar you can use as an alternative. But yeah, uh, so I know for a fact, there's an MP5 sound. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this one of your two entries or both. Either it doesn't really matter. You're going to look for the S underscore 40. That's means like the sound keyword essentially you're gonna double click it type in jsrs underscore s underscore 40 underscore mp5 in this case and you press enter and boom that's it that's all you need to do same thing with this one again jsrs underscore s 40 underscore mp5 there you go that's it that's how you patch uh uh, a weapon mod to use JSRS through a weapon uh, entry. Super simple, like two seconds. Yeah. But now we're going to move on to the one that's uh, just slightly different. It's uh, we're going to do it through object mods. So, uh, some weapons, if they have like caliber conversions, they'll use um, an object mod to change the sound uh, the sound keyword. So like if that you have a SMG that uses nine mil and there's a 45 conversion or a 10 mil conversion. Sometimes there's a different sound keyword or the same one there. Just, you know, change it there. I'll show you how to do that. Right. So same exact steps are as the MP5. You expand this, so the weapon or actually, no, not the same exact, the slightly different. So you see here the FN FAL mod. None of these have Sound keywords here because it's being handled like i said by the object mod so in this case it's being handled here it is in the automatic and semi-automatic fire modes so similar to what we did with the mp5 uh we're gonna we're gonna click one then control click the other one copy is override into again make a new file you can work in the same file if you want it's good to keep patches separated unless you know what you're doing, uh, but it's up to you. I prefer to keep mine separate until, like I said, I know I have a collective of information. I know like what they all do and yeah. Uh, so click the ESP ESL. It's okay. One Omega dash FNFAL ASRS patch. Boom. Now, like uh, we did with the MP5, we searched for the S40 sound keyword. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. So where is it? There it is. S40 wanna uh, FAL. So what we're going to do. Oh. Whoop. Come to that. We forgot. Almost forgot. Add masters. KSRS. Yeah. Check. Added. Perfect. Here. The S40 wanna FAL, JSRS underscore uh, S underscore 40 or FN, is it? oh, FAL. And that's it. Same, oh, we do the same thing here. RS, S underscore 40 underscore FAL. You're done. That's it. Super simple. Like, how long is this? 10 minutes? Take, you know, now that you know this, it takes like 
two seconds. Snap your finger. Easy. You know? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Uh, I'm not even going to test it. That's how confident I am because I've tested. Uh, if you if you have watched any of my videos, I use these and I know they work. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Super simple 10 second tutorial. You know? Hope it was helpful. And if it was, I appreciate you uh, so, uh, liking the video. Uh, subscribe. Uh, if you do, hit the bell. Join the community Discord. You know, if you have any other questions, if you have questions about this, you know, you want you want me like you know even more help. I more than happy to give it. Join Discord, ping me, PM me, whatever doesn't matter. I'm open all. Uh, I'll I'll answer you know, whatever messages I get usually, <laughs> unless I forget I got them. I have a really great memory. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this and hope it helps. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day.